Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about data access sets in Oracle R12. What is data access sets first? Assume you are in 11i, um, when you need to consult, you have multiple ledgers and you need to consolidate data across ledger or if you want to open periods, what we do today in 11i instance is you go to each and every ledger open the period or close the period or if you want to do account inquiry you go to the particular ledger and then or set up book for, uh, for that matter in 11i and then individually you have to do account inquiry or, or run some reports from that set up book but in R12 we have a new feature where if there are more than one ledger and they share the same chart of account <coughs> structure and the calendar then we can combine those ledgers into a data access set by which you can assign that value to a responsibility and when you log in with that responsibility and access data for example you should be seeing data from those two ledgers for example or you can open or close periods across those two ledgers. So this will save us time, especially during the month end, and it is of less maintenance. So now let us see how we create a data access set. Let's go to a responsibility GL SSGL user setup financials data access sets. We have just created already for you. So I'm just going to query those values. Sorry, there's a typo error. So we created a data access set by name of SS ledger data access set and in that what we have configured we have selected the chart of account structure the calendar and if you see the access type you have full ledger what do you mean by full ledger is when you create a data access set with full ledger you will be able to access all the values under that ledger but when you select balancing segment value and if you specify specific segment values on the balancing segment then you should be able to only select and see only those segment values when you create a journal or when you're running some reports management segment value management segment is a new segment qualified in R12 and you can also restrict an access of a person when they're accessing through a responsibility to only restrict access to those management segment values say suppose you are assigned management segment qualifier to a cost center segment which is also acting as the management segment value and if you specify certain values under this data access set then the user can only see data for those management segment values let us see one by one how we configure them so for full ledger access you select the full ledger access and then select the multiple ledgers which is sharing the same accounting structure and the calendar and you enable the all values and privileges you give read and write access so that they'll have full privilege of um, creating a journal or open close uh, periods everything they can do across these two ledgers but just by creating data access set it will not have any impact actually we have to assign these data access set to a responsibility to a profile and assign them to a profile value called GL data access set let's see that go to system administrator profile system G 
choose the responsibility access general ledger GM data and you have to assign the value SS ledger data access at what we saw, saw today into the responsibility so by this when a person is accessing a general ledger via G SS general ledger he or she should be able to see data across those two ledgers which we created in the data access set. Now let us see how you create a data access set for a balancing segment value. Again go back to general ledger super user setup financials data access sets we have already created so I'm just going to query Similarly, like how we did for the full ledger access, you assign the chart of account structure, calendar. This time, you choose balancing segment value. And if you see here on the access details, we have selected a ledger called Boxsoft primary ledger. And we have unchecked the all box and we have specified the balancing segment values here. And all for these two balancing segment values, the user who is having this data access set assigned to the responsibility will have a full read and write access. Now, as we saw earlier, we have to assign this to a responsibility. For that, we have to go to system administrator, profile, system. Select the responsibility to which you want to assign. Give the profile option name GM data access set and then assign SS ledger balancing segment value and save it. Let us test whether this restriction by balancing segment is working or not. Let's go back to SS general ledger user, GL user and let us try and create a journal and if you see the accounting segment let us choose an alias. See the company segment value is 0 1 as per the alias what's created that's the reason it says you do not have access to this account if we change the company segment value which is the balancing segment value to 2 um, and also select all the other segments as it is and if you say ok you should not see the error again so it shows that the data access set is perfectly working. Hope you have understood how we create data access set. There are more learnings you can see in our website learnapps.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this explanation and walkthrough. If you have any comments please contact us. Thank you.